Hello and happy New Year's Eve. It is Sunday, December 31st, and I thought I'd come on just to talk about my plans for a cast on. I know it's three o'clock and I have not cast on my New Year's Eve cast on yet. So let's talk about it a little bit. I'm going to do the Agnes, Agnes sweater by Camilla Vad. And um, this calls for, well, let's do the size first. It has some ease, or it's meant to have some ease. So I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do yet. It looks like I am probably the large, which is chest circumference of 110. Um, it calls for four colors. I am only going to do three. And I meant to um, dye yarn um, for one of the sections, uh, the top section, and I sold the yarn, <laughs> whoops, in my shop. So I just got back from my local yarn shop, Paradise Fiber, and I picked up this sport weight black yarn. It is Malabrigo Arroyo, and it's in the colorway black. How original. I did get two skeins of that, um, and that is going to be for the neckline here, and then there is a little bit of it throughout the yoke. So this is going to be the top at the neckline. Then I'm gonna have the hand spun tweed base green throughout. And then the body of the sweater is going to be this hand dyed gray tweed. There you go. I think it will be amazing. So, let's talk a little bit about um, the yarn. Most of it is alpaca. This one especially is alpaca, silk, merino, and tweed, viscose. This is wool and viscose. And this is just wool. So, I think think it'll be a good pairing. I've never done a color work sweater before, so I'm a little unsure how it'll fire off, but we will see. Um, this design is by Camilla Bad, if I forgot to say that. And the needle size recommended is 3.5 to 4 millimeter. Um, So I'm going to cast on a hundred stitches and begin knitting the collar immediately it looks like. So that'll be pretty easy. That's going to be an easy cast on. I, it being three, I could probably still get it cast on and knit this evening. So that is what I'm going to do. I wanted to mention <clears throat> last year I started vlogging I think in February so I'm not quite at a year vlogging but I had trouble remembering what I had knit especially if I gave it to somebody so I bought a journal a knitting journal this journal is by Goody, Goody Who, and um, I bought it at my local yarn shop. It was $9. Oh, designed in the UK. That's pretty cool. Um, 
This is what it looks like. It's got a nice texture to it and a clasp. And then when you open it, it's not too, um, like they don't, ha it's just lined paper with a date <laughs> on the top. So uh, for nine bucks, I don't know. I feel like there should be more. I've seen some where they have a spot to put a picture of your finished object, um, as well as, you know, yarn used, gauge, uh, needles, um, when you started the project, when you finished it. So this one, I'm going to have to just do all that. Um, it'll be fine. I liked the bright color. So this project is going to be my first one in this book. Uh, even though I'm casting on New Year's Eve, this is going to be my 2024 project um, uh, journal. So that will help me keep track of all the details. And that was one thing that I was doing during my vlogs is I was forgetting every detail um, to add <laughs> uh, so that people knew what I was talking about and knew um, the things that I used. So I am going to cake up the yarn and get started.
<clears throat> but let's try that again because it has a lot of cast on it. Oh, it did? Yeah. You said cast on like six times. <laughs> In the ending part? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so let's try that again. Gosh. All right, I'm going to go cast these on, or uh, ball these up. So I'm going to go cake these up with my swift and ball winder, and then we'll cast on. That was way better. <laughs> <laughs>